Pictures of Hollis Woods. Sixth picture, driving the truck. I never showed this picture to anyone. The golden field, me with my head back laughing, my hands at the wheel of the truck. It took four or five pencils to do this. I started with summer green, iron gray, and beach sand. That was something that Saturday night. Izzy and the old man were going to the movie in town. It's a romance, the old man said, waggling his eyebrows at me. A waste of a good evening. You'll love it, John, Izzy had said. There are snacks in the refrigerator and in the cabinet. Snacks all over the place. You won't starve. She leaned out the door. And there's a tin of that hard candy on my dresser. Stephen crossed his eyes. They're so sour, they curl your tongue. Not mine. I'd been eating them all summer. I couldn't get enough of them. That's because, he began, I knew he was going to make a joke about me being sour. But the old man came out the door. I just saw the mess you left in the shed, he told Stephen. Straighten that place up. It's bad enough your room looks the way it does. What's this neatness kick? Did you notice how neat Holly's things are? Without thinking, I put my hand up. Don't, I began. But it came out almost a breath. Neither of one of them heard, or maybe they just weren't paying attention. Stephen unfolded himself from his chair so slowly it seemed as if he weren't moving. Hang in there, Hollis Woods, Stephen said as the old man stamped around the side of the house and started the car. We're going to be out of here in five minutes. Where? Already he was running around the side of the house to the shed. I sat there listening as he threw things around for a few minutes, and then he was back. I'm going to teach you how to drive. Good thing they took the car instead of the truck. He dangled the keys in front of my nose. Anyone who can keep her things disinfected can drive a truck. I don't think... I began. Scared? Never. All right, don't waste my valuable time arguing. In back of the evergreens and the row of holly bushes was a flat field. The old man kept it mowed against snakes, rattlers that struck blind in the summer. Don't worry, Stephen said, sliding into the truck. No one's been bitten for about a hundred years. Pop worries about everything. Stephen drove as if he'd been doing it all his life. He grinned across at me in the suicide seat. Since I was about eight, he said, knowing what I was thinking. I'm going to take the truck up the mountain one day. He showed me the gears and the pedals, and then we switched seats. And so I drove in that field in the summer evening light. Stephen shouting directions as I lurched through the ruts, bucking, stalling, starting up again with gear-grinding noises. Aha! Hollis Woods, he yelled. There's hope for you. I knew it. I pressed my foot down on the gas pedal a little harder. Yahoo! I yelled, it's me driving a pickup truck.